Welcome to the Minnesota Vikings uh, chat weekly, weekly podcast of uh, MinnesotaVikingsChat.com. And uh, I'm David Erickson, your host, and I'm with Rick Birmingham in Minneapolis. How are you doing, Rick? Very well. Good, very good. The Vikings uh, have had an eventful day one of the uh, 2013 NFL Draft. Um, they uh, had two picks in the first round, and uh, with them at number 23, they chose defensive tackle from Florida, Sharif Floyd. Um, with the 25th pick, they stood pat. They didn't move up, uh, and they didn't move down. Um, they chose uh, Xavier Rhodes, cornerback from uh, Florida State. And uh, then they traded back in the first round with the New England Patriots. They gave up their uh, fourth round pick, their their second round pick, their third round pick, their first fourth round pick, and a, in the last seventh round pick in um, in this draft to move up to number twenty nine uh, and uh, take New England's spot and choose Cordero Patterson, Tennessee's wide receiver that we've talked talked about before. So. Um, so Merry Christmas, Rick. Yeah, all good. <laughs> it's a fun day uh, to be a Viking. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, they 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 on fr that was Thursday night, Friday night. The Vikings didn't do anything because they didn't have any picks. Uh, they've got five picks today on Saturday, so they will. Um, they are very uh, um, uh, strong about uh, getting value on later rounds. So uh, they'll be picking uh, some players today. But uh, let's look at let's talk about today's. Uh, our picks, our new newest additions to the Vikings. Uh, Sharif Floyd, defensive tackle um, from Florida, as I said. Let me get his uh, his um, his stats. Florida, six foot three, two hundred ninety seven pounds, thirty one three inch arm length, ten inch, ten one eighth inch hands, four nine two forty yard dash. Um, so. Uh, he uh, is a natural three technique under tackle, so he's the heir apparent to Kevin Williams. But he has played all along the line uh, with Florida. So, how do you think the Vikings are going to incorporate him into uh, into the defense, Rick? I, I think the nice thing is they don't have to do a lot of switching around. Uh, they were able to get a guy that does fit what they do with the four man line. Um, he sort of is Kevin Williams, maybe not quite as fast as Kevin Williams was. Um, but I think very exciting. I'm surprised they were able to get him. I know everybody always says that, but uh, that was pretty great for us. I uh, just heard one of the Packer guys on the radio mad at Dallas for not taking him, which made me feel a little better. <laughs> <laughs> well, they uh, – a lot of people had him in the top five. Most people had the Raiders taking him at number three. Of course, the Raiders traded out of that spot. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a surprising fall, and and we the, a lot of people are just saying we got great value for that pick at number twenty three. That uh, that with the way the draft played out, so many offensive linemen going in the top of the draft, we had the pick of the litter coming to our to, coming to yeah. us at. Uh, middle of the round. And people just weren't picking at the couple of positions we needed the most. So we had, I mean, sometimes a guy like that falls and he is a running back and we can't play him like Peterson and we can't, we can't pick him because we, we can't spend a first rounder on that. It, uh, it worked out really well. But it'll, it'll be interesting. He's not uh, the biggest of the nose tackles. Um, so he'll be able to move around a little bit, give him a little bit of flexibility. Um, if they do keep Jared Allen, I think they like the being able to have guys occasionally drop back into coverage and switch around and stuff like that. So they've got some flexibility. And finally, we have some young blood in the line. It's yeah. been a couple of years, so that's very good. Yeah, it will be interesting to see. I'm sure he's going to be in in, – in in pretty, you know, fairly heavy rotation with Kevin Williams, given that they, he, Williams himself wanted, didn't want to play every snap of every game like Jared Allen does, and uh, and he's gonna, you know, that's that's his net, that's uh, Floyd's natural position is is Williams, but also on passing downs, I imagine they're gonna be putting uh, Floyd pairing Floyd with Williams 
uh, yeah. to get a you know a rush up the middle. And it wouldn't surprise me to see Floyd playing a lot at nose tackle too, because I just I just don't think we got much at nose tackle right now. Yeah, I I think he'll not have trouble getting on the field if he can play. And... The uh, the other aspect of how these these uh, picks fell to us, um, some people were talking about how uh, there are a lot of new GMs, new head coaches doing their first draft. Spielman, this is Spielman's seventh draft that he's overseen, um, and the second in which he's had the final say. And uh, I got to, in, in Spielman, we trust, I think. He's done a pretty impressive job, I think, of uh, running the draft for the Vikings. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's wrap this up. Rick, you want to do any self promotion or promotion of any type? Just share our content. All right. Uh, that's a good, good promotion. I'm going to promote a friend of ours, fellow football player of ours, David LaDuke. Uh, is a musician, and he just came out with his solo album, A Floor uh, of Clouds, on which I play guitar on track two, so I'll leave a link in the in the show notes so you can uh, check that out. It's a great album, really good music, um, so buy it. Uh, this has been the Minnesota Vikings uh, Chat Podcast, minnesotavikingschat.com. This is us on Facebook, or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Minnesota Vikings Chat, and on Twitter at twitter.com slash MN Vikings Chat. And until next week, go Vikings!